Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little build project with you. So one of the things you know that I've been flying the 3D camera. I've done a couple flights with it. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is get it out from underneath the bottom of the, the copter and get it out here so I could get, um, you, you know, kind of clear the view angle of the props and the uh, landing gear. So what I decided to do and also to balance this I thought it'd be cool is I'm mounting a GoPro style camera action camera on the back and then I'm mounting the 360 camera on the front all attached to this gimbal. Now what I've done is I've made this uh, bracket which mounts in here which kind of balances the two in a cantilever fashion. So I needed to leave enough room for this battery uh, to come in and out and so I can tip these and I can adjust these and you notice that let me flip the copter over I've sort of balanced these uh, to the opposite side and try to do as best as I could also balancing this way I think I'm going to have a little bit more but uh, because the the 360 camera is a little bit heavier than the uh, GoPro style <coughs> excuse me GoPro style camera in the back here I got a little bit of a cold I'm getting over uh, so anyways um, so I thought this was a really cool design. I'm going to see how it goes. Now, one of the things you'll notice the nuts here. I definitely wouldn't suggest flying this over people. Number one, this is I'm I'm doing water flights and things like that. As you see, I do a lot of those. So so it falls off. It's going to fall in the water. The second thing is I highly recommend the blue Loctite on these uh, to kind of hold these in place or hold these tight while you're flying. Uh, so these are kind of snugged up. So the other thing I've done and I haven't put these in yet, I'm not sure if I will, is I built spacers. I was a little bit concerned. Now, I machined these on the CNC out of ABS. I'll probably have that up in the corner running so you can kind of see how I cut it out. And if you're also interested in this kind of stuff, my main channel, DIY3Dtech.com, uh, I have a YouTube channel where I show you how to actually do this type of stuff in Inkscape and CNC it and 3D print it and laser cut it and all that nice, neat stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to check out that channel too. However, I also did these uh, spacers because I was a little bit concerned that I might have problems with, uh, with the, with the uh, flexing. And I really don't, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put these in. I'm going to try one flight um, without them. Uh, because I don't, I'm not seeing really any flex in them. I made this out of ABS. ABS is very lightweight plastic. Um, and one of the things I like about CNC versus 3D printing is this is cut from a solid object. So this is going to maintain its rigidity. It's not going to have layers in it and run the risk of potentially breaking in flight. Because one of the things, even with this vibration mount, uh, this, this stuff incurs a lot of vibration on these copters with these propellers and stuff. Uh, really shake it. And again, I have a dampener here. And we built that in another episode and on the CNC. Uh, but I would also suggest, you know, if, it, if it's going to be a weight-bearing part, per se, in flight, um, I would try to avoid 3D printing. It's just my two cents because, again, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of the layers breaking. If you're going to do a 3D print, for example, though, I would highly suggest coating it in like epoxy or, or X3D or something like that that um, brings together the layers. Anyways, enough on that. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm really interested to take this for a flight and see see how it flies. I don't think it would be a huge problem with the weight. Uh, the balance is what I'm most concerned with. In, in the, um, the Captor's uh, flight controller should compensate a bit for the weight, but uh, I want to, again, try to get it pretty centered. Now, what I can also do with this, you notice I've removed the transmitter because this is the first up air that I crashed and the gimbal was damaged. Actually, not the gimbal was damaged, but the electronics that drive the gimbal. And, and so I've built this... Um, actually, it's not really a gimbal. I call it a gimbal, but it's more of a vibration dampener that mounts to the old gimbal location. I could move that back a little bit and get this more centered because you do notice the forward weight. But one of the reasons for the forward weight is obviously the battery is back here, and I'm sure that they sort of designed it to balance the weight a little bit. So that's why I kind of cantilevered this camera more so to the back than this. And so I get the effect. So I also wanted the photographic effect of the copter coming and going. So in, a f in future episodes, kind of keep an eye out for it because what I want to do is I want to blend the two videos. You know, so half the screen is the copter going and half the screen is the copter coming. Or, or yeah, the copter going. 
there's that that going and that's coming I don't know you get the idea so you get both directions and I want to split the screen so it's going away from itself simultaneously so I, that'd probably be an interesting mind trip in itself anyways look for that in a coming video too so I'm gonna take this out and fly it so um, if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below subscribe buttons coming over there don't forget to hit the like button we always like the like button and uh, hey watch for the next video where I take this out fly it and see how it works and because uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the wobbly but we'll see cheers